There's a neat little application on the iPhone called Custom Dial or Custom Dial 6. The free version is just Custom Dial because you only get to make one icon, which I did here. And it adds speed dial icons to your home screen, which is really cool with a, a picture and everything. Um, this other one right here that I made, however, is just through a regular do-it-yourself method, and that's what we're going to go over right now. You can do it with just some HTML, PHP, and mobile Safari. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is make an HTML document. I've saved it out as a PHP document on my server because we're going to be using PHP code, but not yet. Right now it's just HTML, but be prepared. So, this needs to be really, really simple. We're just going to do kind of a crappy job here. And, and those tags. So I've got an HTML tag and a body tag, and inside the body tag I am going to put two things. One is an image, so that is going to be an image of the person that's being called. In this case it's going to be my sister, so we just need an image source. That's something I found online, and I believe the height is 146, and the width is 100. Okay, so that tag's there. Let's do a nice little line break. Um, and then the next thing you're going to need to do is have a link to the phone call, which is just going to be for testing purposes. You don't have to do this all the time. So in order to make a link that calls someone on the iPhone, you just do tell colon slash slash 612, and we'll use a fake phone number, actually, 555, 1234. And we'll say call Allie. And that'll be it. I'm going to save that. And then we will check that out on the iPhone. Okay, so I'm just going to the PHP document on the iPhone. And as you can see, there's a picture of my sister and a link that lets me call her. And back to the Safari web browser. I'm going to zoom in on her picture so it fills up the entire screen. Hit the plus button and then say add to home screen. It'll give me the option to name it and then add it to my home screen and then as, as you can see I have a custom icon. So that's all you have to do to get the icon. Now let's actually make the page work properly. So now that we have our picture speed dial bookmark on the iPhone home screen we need to edit this HTML document to actually use speed dial rather than just load a page with a link. So we're going to delete everything we just did, but first let's keep it for reference and do what we need to do on the PHP side. So I'm adding a PHP tag, and inside I'm just going to use one function called header, and inside of the header function I'm going to put location, and then we need the location um, which is the phone number, so we're just going to take the tell colon slash slash and the phone number and paste that right in there. And then we can either get rid of all of this or not. I think it's probably safer to just not have it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to save that out right now. And let's go test that out on the iPhone. Back on the iPhone, let's try our link one more time. And instantly you see it asking to call. Good. So the downside to this method is that you have a phone number that anyone can just really go to and visit online. Um, you could put a password on the directory and have the iPhone remember it so you could get around that. So it's not totally a security issue. The nice thing is with PHP is you don't have a bunch of exposed phone numbers just sitting in HTML documents. It's actually in the PHP code. So that's somewhat of a plus. The real disadvantage of using this method though currently is that if you click the home screen icon, you also have to accept a pop-up that says, yes, I do really want to call this number, that's why I clicked it. There's probably a way around this because call 6 seems to have found one, so if you know how to do it, leave a note in the comments and we will update the script to reflect that.